What was that? What's going on guys? Welcome back to Chasing Limits. So here we are today with this 2024 Toyota Prius XSC Prime. Let's get in and check it out. Alright guys, so this is our 2024 XSC Prime Toyota Prius. It is dressed in the Guardian Grey Metallic. It actually looks really cool in the sun. Not sure if the camera can capture this, but all this black trim actually has this uh, speckled flake in it all around. Even the mirrors. This trim here and all around the front grille. So it's actually pretty cool that they paid so much attention in great detail to a Prius. Who would have thought? So this Prius is actually the 5th gen Prius. We had a total of, uh, well, clearly 5 gens. It first started in 97 in the Japanese market. And uh, later, 2001, we got it in North America. So yeah, this is by far the best, absolute best looking Prius that they ever made thus far. And uh, I don't know if it's just me, but most people, they don't even know what this actually is until they find out that, wow, it is a Prius. So yeah, well done Toyota on such a cool design for such an econo economical car. Okay, let's pop the hood now and show you guys what's actually powering this bad boy. All right, so under the hood, we find this M20A engine. This is a two liter inline four gasoline engine that's part of Toyota's dynamic force engine family. So it's also paired with two electric motors and of course the famous hybrid system in regards to the <clears throat> two electric motors so one is used for the gasoline engine in conjunction and continuously variable transmission acting as a generator and distributing all overall power output the other electric motor provides additional power to the wheels and is the key component in the plug-in hybrid system so after all this complexity underneath the hood, you might be wondering, so what's the total output of all this? Well, combined, the two electric motors and the gas engine puts out 220 horsepower. Meanwhile, the gas engine produces 150 horsepower and 139 foot-pounds of torque. Now having this much power under the hood, regardless what people may think of a Prius, this is actually no slouch, especially uh, comparing it to the old generation it has nearly 50% more power and you can actually feel the difference the car only weighs in just over 3,500 pounds I believe so it is uh, not a lightweight but it's not a heavy weight either all right guys let's hear the famous exhaust note well that was very overwhelming Taking a quick look inside, we find that this has the 12.3 inch Toyota multimedia system. So nice big screen right there. Wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Wireless charging, which is in here. Uh, it's got a digital smart key. JBL premium auto. So you'll find it there and all around. I believe it's an eight speaker system. Uh, it's also got traffic jam assist, panoramic view monitoring, uh, heated front and rear seats, and the seats are actually covered in the soft tech seat uh, material, which is like a synthetic uh, leather upholstery, and power adjustable front seats, which is eight-way power, 
and the passenger seat is a six-way power. You also got memory seats here for the driver's side only. Power windows all one up and down for all windows and lock. Also comes with the heated steering wheel and uh, heaters for your wipers and a fixed panoramic sunroof, which is actually pretty cool. And of course, being a Toyota, it's got its safety sense. This version is the 3.0, which includes pre-collision with pedestrian detection, late departure and automatic high beams, blind spot monitoring system, rear cross traffic alert, parking support brake, traffic jam assist, and it's also got an advanced park feature, which is the buttons right there. I'll show you guys how that works later on. Now, because this is the XSC trim, it did come from factory with those 19 inch wheels, but the tires are super skinny. They're 195 50 series. So instead we went aftermarket, we got a set of 18 by eight. And these are 225 45 ZR18 Michelin Pilot Sport All Season 4. So just putting these tires on totally changed the whole dynamic of the vehicle. So I highly recommend if you guys looking to get a Prius like this, first thing to do is swap out the tires because what they give you, they're very dinky and you just have no road feel at all. This makes a world of a difference. Now, since this is the XSC model, it does have the full integrated LED light, which goes from left to right, as you guys can see. And you also have the power patch. So you just hold it and you open. Now this opens up to nearly uh, 20 cubic feet of space, which is actually very generous. And you can actually fit tall items in here being a hatchback now the only downfall there is no spare tire in here all they give you is a pump compressor uh, I added this just to be extra safe if we do have a nail do it quick and pump it up and also I provided my own um, socket in case I do have to remove a wheel for emergency purposes so yeah, that pretty much concludes this. All right, so starting the Prius, just like any other car, foot on brake, press the power button. And there we have, so this is kind of like a heads up display, but it's not obviously on the windshield. It's more like a cockpit view. And as you can see, depending on your line of sight, it can be blocked by the steering wheel. So that's kind of something that I feel they would, uh, they could have done a bit better design, but it is what it is. Just have some, just have to get used to it. And here we have the 12.3 inch display. You have a whole bunch of settings, climate, trip, energy flow. So basically like any other Toyota it's the same thing here you have some uh, type C chargers and yeah now this is all pretty straightforward park reverse neutral and drive but we also have the letter B here so what that's for is or what it stands for is uh, braking so it's used in to increase the engine braking particularly particularly when descending hills. So this mode actually increases the regenerative braking effect, helping to slow the vehicle down and simultaneously recharge the hybrid battery. So does it work? Probably, I've never used it. I've never been in this mode. I just go from R, N and D. And then we also have the different uh, drive mode selects here. So as you can see here, sport mode and eco. And if there's nothing displayed, you can also do custom and just normal. This is the auto, so you basically let it do its thing. And uh, this is to hold charge. This is to take off traction control. And this is to hold the e-brake. And this is your e-brake, which can actually be 
set up automatically so as soon as you put it in park it auto engages for you and as soon as you put it in drive it disengages for you so you never have to worry about that now another cool feature about this uh, auto dimming mirror so if you flick it like this you can actually look through a camera through the rear so you can always see something so if you have something blocking your view of the rear window either a tall person or big luggages you can put it on the setting so you'll always have a clear view of the, of the rear of the car. Alright, so driving the Prius, this is typically what you would see on display. Now you can pick your own graphs and charts, it's got so many different configurations. But usually this is what I keep it at, so right now because we're out of EV power, so the battery is fully drained, we're running off the gasoline engine. You guys can see I'm going 75 and if I floor it it's got some pretty good pickup nothing like the last few gens of Prius especially the first one but now because I'm braking it regens so the battery is getting uh, topped up But uh, overall, the ride quality is very good. It's excellent. It's actually much better now that we switched on uh, onto the new Michelin Pilot all-season four tires. Like I said, it makes a huge difference for this car. Ride handling is much better, and the comfort, overall comfort. Let's do zero to sixty in sport mode. What do you guys think? Not too bad for a Prius, eh? Now to show you guys how the auto park works, we come to a stop. So there's a lot of parking spaces all around here. So we come up to the button here, we press this, check for parking spaces, release brakes, so now the car is doing everything. Even signals for you puts it in reverse so it's telling you it's backing up it's doing all the correct adjustments now let's see how accurate it is in between the lines shows you where the tires are locks it puts it in park and it tells you advanced park finished gives you a 360 view now we go out and let's see. So there's the line. It's quite a bit of space in the back. Let's see the other side. So yeah, it's actually not too bad. Very impressive. Alright guys, so why do I say that the gas in this car goes bad? Well, it's been uh, quite a few months since the initial fill up and because I only use it to commute to work, running errands, just around the city, I rarely ever use the gasoline engine that ever, it barely ever comes on. So having said that, like now, I decided not to plug it in and just uh, burn off this old fuel so I can top it up with new fuel because as we all know eventually gas does go bad and uh, for its efficiency so I'm getting around 70 to 75 kilometers per charge and the charge alone it takes roughly 9 to 10 hours on a residential 120 volt supply there is a level 2 charger which can charge it in less than half the time about four hours but uh, for me personally I don't think that's necessary as I let it charge overnight when also the electricity uh, charge is uh, a lot lower the charge rate so yeah overall if you guys are looking for a car for daily commutes that barely wastes any gas or sips on gas this is it it's practical 
it's quick enough and uh, your wallet will be uh, thankful for it so overall it's an awesome car so yeah I can tell you guys that uh, this thing uh, fuel consumption is like 50 plus miles per gallon blah 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 but what I'm telling you guys is that this is real world and it also depends how you use it and how you drive with it um, so yeah hopefully you guys found this uh, video informative and as always, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.